what's up guys? Welcome to Eye on the County. We are doing a segment called Artists Abroad. And joining me today is Mr. Robert Bonner. Welcome to the show. Right. right on. And uh, now Robert is actually at Colorado University uh, getting his doctorate degree right now. Uh, let's see, when do you go back to school? Uh, I st I'll start in August, end of August. Okay, okay. Dude, that's what's up. Now, um, now, what instrument do you play? Uh, I play the trumpet. Okay. Oh, by the way, I don't know if I mentioned that. It's a doctorate in music. So, uh, and you go to Colorado University. Yes. Where did you go to get your master's? Uh, I just finished my master's at the at Colorado State University in Fort Collins, which is just north of Denver. And um, yeah, did two years there. Beautiful city, wonderful, uh, wonderful school. Yeah, well, that's what's up. Yeah. And now he's switching over to the dark side, going to the buffs. <laughs> Yo, now um, I, I do have a question, and it's more of a, it's more of a myth or urban legend, I guess you could say. Uh, is it true that Colorado people hate Texans? They, I think. Mostly on the ski slopes, they hate Texans. Gotcha. Yeah, because Texans aren't, you know, uh, we're not natural skiers, you know. <laughs> so they, I think they tend to hate them more on the ski slopes. But now I see, now I've see. been, I've been well received in Colorado. Oh, good, so. good, good. Yeah, they've been really you can nice ski? to me. Yeah. Oh, see, that's I, what's up. Yeah. It's, uh, <laughs> I don't think they hate them, but. Um, gotcha. Well, uh, one thing that I heard was that in the '80s. They, uh, whenever Colorado's ski developments were going down, like hitting bankruptcy, yeah. Texans came in and saved the day, and apparently they hate Texans because they don't know how to run ski slopes. Oh. <laughs> so, so it does have to do with skiing, It probably does, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and, uh, and how long do you think it'll be before you can, can get your doctorate? Uh, generally, it's, it takes anywhere from three to four years. Okay. So, uh, it's like another... Time-wise, like another undergraduate degree. Okay, is it is it like most other doctorates where you have to come up with a thesis and write about it? And exactly. All that stuff? Well, the the music uh, I'm going for um, a doctorate in musical arts, so it's a performance-based degree. So oh, there's a lot of up. yeah, there's a lot of recitals and um, performance projects that we have to do. Okay. Stuff like that, yeah. Okay. Is is there anything that you have online that people can go and see that you I'm, might have? Uh, at the moment, uh, there's a, a few through the uh, Colorado State YouTube channel. Uh, okay. You can check out some concerts that we've done and things like that. Uh, also, now, what, what, what would they type in to find it? Uh, they can they can do um, I think CSU Productions or they can Google uh, CSU Symphony Orchestra and uh, find some um, some videos. I was recently a uh, finalist in the concerto competition at CSU. Dude, that's what's and, up, man. And uh, so there's a video of me playing a, a solo, a concerto with the uh, with the orchestra there. Okay. And, well, dude, uh, anything else you want to talk about? Um, no. It's All right. It. Well, that's that's it. Yo, uh, well, let's, we're going to go ahead and let him play a little something for you guys so you can see what a finalist looks like. <laughs> Yo. Now see that was that was totally what's up, yo, uh, dude. Uh, you got the uh, CU sign. Yep, yeah, there you go. I believe that's it. Buffs, go buffs. That's what's up, yo. As always, stay blessed and know we got our eye on the county, cause that's what's up.